Queridos amigos de la hermandad sefaradí, vos bendigo de las honduras de mi corazón todo inaugurando vos una fiesta de Hanukkah alegre y luminosa, todo en sintiéndome orgulloso de hacer el uno de los heredadores de la cultura sefaradía, empezando de Maimonides, Nachmanides, Ibn Geberol, Ben Pekuda, Abraham Zakuto, Abulafia, Alfase, que no topo más topar ni cabo ni atemo por acodrarles los nombres de estos aceptores que fueron los del mundo entero. Ellos nos mostraron el Shevil Azahav, el camino de oro, o bien la conducta de oro sin arribar a ningún extremismo. Hermanos, tengo el honor de bendecir vos en esta condición de inauguración esta gala, sino físicamente, ma, ma, ra, moralmente. Tomo parte de vuestra alegría. Y vos auguro vidas largas con sanidad. Amén. Being Sephardic to me means that you're a living part of a history that goes way beyond our fathers and our grandfathers. It means that you have, if anything, a responsibility to the traditions that guided our forefathers and how they participated in the Jewish faith, the customs that they used and the ways that they celebrated holidays, the ways that they observed Shabbat, the ways that they even spoke to each other culturally, their vernacular, right? Being Sephardic to me means a unique and important perspective on, on Judaism. When I was a kid, somebody asked me what I was. I was a Spanish Jew. That's what I was referred to. And uh, all I know is that I felt very warm around family rituals and Sephardic rituals and Sephardic foods, which I loved. To me, being Sephardic is about my family history, you know, and preserving that in the 21st century. You know, it's very easy to be Sephardic today. It's very easy to be Jewish today. And I know that when you look at the lives of our grandfathers and their grandfathers, it wasn't always like that. The future of being Sephardic to me is gratitude, is being appreciative of, of who built the roads that we're on and then going down those roads in a way that would have made them happy. To me, it's very important to be an active member of the Sephardic Brotherhood and the Sephardic community because my Nona came to America after surviving the Holocaust in Larissa, Greece. Uh, and she came to America and the culture was very much focused on assimilation. And to be safe in America, she had to hide a lot of her Jewish identity and become American. And so generations later, interacting in the 21st century with the Sephardic community, makes me feel like I have an even wider family uh, sharing this culture and this identity and the traditions that I grew up with. I always was proud of being Sephardic and that pride led me to uh, the Sephardic Brotherhood of America, the Sephardic Jewish Brotherhood of America. I was called by one of the members about 25 years ago, maybe 30, to join Central Council. So I joined Central Council at that time and enjoyed every bit of it. Of course, our meetings at that time, we were enticed somewhat by the borecas that were served at our meetings. <laughs> but in the age of COVID and we're Zooming, I missed the borecas, but I still enjoy meeting uh, with fellow Sephardim to make our organization even better. When my grandfather passed away and I, I was able to visit the cemetery for the first time in Seattle and on my subsequent visits there, and I recognized the importance of the, of the brotherhood in terms of really gratitude, right? Recognizing where we came from, recognizing the hard work that, that our, our, our forefathers put in to these traditions, right? To this unique perspective on Judaism. That, that's really what I what I love most is that the Sephardic Brotherhood preserves 
this important tradition. It's a vehicle for us to preserve these important traditions. And I think because of that, it's important for us, the community, to continue to support the brotherhood, which is why I, I eagerly signed up. The last couple of years, I saw that we expanded what we were, not just a, a burial society and did a little on the side with scholarships and helping the poor at holiday time, but we expanded our reach and connected with other Sephardic communities, not only throughout the United States, but throughout the world. And I'm so grateful that what we have done over the past few years has borne fruit. That is my memory of the wonderful things that we have done. My favorite memory with the Sephardic Brotherhood was going on Sephardic Birthright. I did not know any Sephardic people I wasn't related to until the trip. So being around a group of my peers who were Sephardic was really meaningful to me. And I made long lasting friendships and I was even a bridesmaid in one of my friend's wedding this last October. What I admire most about the Sephardic community is that they're, they use their traditions as a vehicle to bring Judaism to life. Right, that's how, that's how, right, with Judaism being the big picture and, and being Sephardic as a way to make Judaism vibrant. I love that. People are always smiling. People are, are always saying salut. People are always are happy to see each other, happy to be in synagogue, happy to be, to, to be participating, happy to sing. And um, that, that's really what I love most.